Hey, Vinyl community and any independent viewers that are uh, out there watching, this is Chris. It's uh, Saturday night, and I've got a video, just some kind of random things to show. Uh, first part will be uh, in response to uh, Psych in the Valley, Steve's uh, recent contest about uh, showing geographical stuff. I showed a few, I think, in my last video, but uh, I located a couple more, mostly on CD, but uh, I just figured I'd show those for him. Uh, this first one, Niels Gade. Uh, that uh, picture there is a painting of uh, Fingal's Cave in Scotland. Uh, as done by Wilhelm uh, Melby. And then this one is The Mounds of Old Uppsala. So I think that's a Swede. Another painting by John Way. Um, Franz Burwald is the uh, musician, composer that this is from, that CD. Um, Charles Camarilli, uh, music from the Mediterranean. So there's a map of the Mediterranean. The surrounding countries. Piano Odyssey. Charles Camarilli. Volume one of this series. And this is. Photograph of, uh, I think it's uh, Malta. Yeah. Stone temples in Malta. And then the final CD uh, in the part of the 20th Century Spanish Composer series. Angel Barrios and Manuel Infante, and that's a picture of a view of Granada by Dario de Regoyos y Valdez. View of Granada. So some geographical things, and the last one was uh, this uh, Charles Ives LP, uh, Sonata Number no. One for piano, as played by Herbert Hank. This is on the uh, Wergo label. And the cover is, uh, this is from 1984, the cover is a, um, a photograph by uh, Ansel Adams, Winter Sunrise, Sierra Nevada. So in uh, Western uh, United States. And then the rest of this, uh, mostly uh, new acquisitions. Uh, I ran into on eBay, maybe. Um, somebody had gotten a bunch of records from the Serenus Rec uh, Corporation. And mostly they were uh, classical or modern classical series. So this was uh, one that I got. 
Split LP, um, Dwight Pelser is the pianist. Uh, one side is Dane Ruchar, and the other is Carl Weigel. There's the uh, label, the Serenus label. Doesn't seem to indicate uh, the year, and I don't remember if I was able to figure it out or not. But you know, solo piano compositions, uh, a couple of folk albums. This one uh, seemed interesting. Steve Heights, Yukon Legacy. This is on the. Uh, Chilkoot Railway and Navigation Company label. Yukon Legacy. So he's uh, singing about Alaska. And it's a three piece band, two guitars and a bass primarily. Comes with this little booklet. Kind of reminds me of uh, Robert Service, uh, the famous poet that uh, wrote a lot about uh, Alaska or the Yukon. Um, then I got these two albums by this uh, you know, folk band, Schooner Fair. This is uh, 1981, Closer to the Wind. So these are kind of uh, seafaring based songs. Uh, this is on the uh, Outer Green record label. Three piece band. 1981 and 1983 Schooner Fair Days of the Clipper on the uh, same label Outer Green First song is uh, Far Away in Australia so, Almost a geographical cover of the uh, out at sea uh, and this one here Michael Rabon and Choctaw Michael Rabon was a uh, former member of the five Americans and after that uh, he went on to I think it's 1971 went on to this band on the uni label one of those uh, Unipack covers. Just a standard uni label, so I won't pull it out. And this might be the last of the folkish type things. Not that this is folk, but uh, the Hondells, Go Little Honda. mid 60s on the uh, Mercury label this cover shows a uh, Honda 90 motorcycle brings back a lot of uh, memories this was Honda motorcycles were uh, making big inroads in the uh, when I was in uh, just finishing up junior high.
everybody had uh, seemed like Hondas were uh, overwhelmingly the choice of motorcycle s 90s 65s few 50s a couple Honda a couple of Yamaha's got mixed in there eventually but it was mostly a Honda world um, another Serenus record uh, release this is a split record uh, Leo Ornstein six preludes for cello and piano and Alexei Haif on the other side Sonata for cello and piano and then there was another one just solo piano or uh, the Alexei Haif uh, Sonata for two pianos and Leo Ornstein Gnome Suite for solo piano with again Dwight Peltzer as the pianist. Uh, modern uh, classical. I guess you'd say this is on the Finidar label. Another label that seems to emphasize a lot of uh, modern classical or avant-garde style music. That's the label. Uh, Edel Barre is the pianist. It's called New Line Piano. 1978. And it starts off with uh, first song is by Ilhan Miroglou, who is, I think, the founder of this label, Finidor. He does uh, keyboard based and electronic based compositions so that was interesting um, on the Wyndham Hill label Daryl Anger and Barbara Higby Tideline uh, 1982 Daryl Anger on uh, stringed instruments and Carol Higby's the keyboardist I'd shown some Barbara Higby before when I did a video on that focused on uh, women releases or female uh, composers. And then I found a, some another seller that had gotten a stock of advanced uh, re records recordings. So there's the uh, label, advanced rec recordings. Again, this is focused on. Uh, or at least the ones I picked up were keyboard oriented and it's focused on um, modern composers. So one side is uh, William Bolcom, um, 12 etudes for piano solo, played by the composer himself. And the other side is, you can see it, Philip Windsor. His recording is uh, for two pianos, William Albright and Thomas Warburg. Uh, William Albright is also a, you know, plays uh, or has several ragtime type albums issued like Scott Joplin. And then... Uh, Another release on the advanced recordings. Uh, this is David Burge plays new piano music. So he's got compositions by Salvatore Martirano, who I'm not familiar with. 
George Rochberg, uh, George Crum, and Charles Warren. So he's hit several of the big uh, composers of modern era. Solo piano recordings. And the last Getting into the last few, uh, Anthony Davis Quartet. Song for the Old World. This is on uh, the Indian Navigation label. So I'm not familiar with his uh, quartet, but Anthony Davis on keyboards, Mark Helius, Edward Blackwell, and Jay Hoggard. 1978, I think, or 76, 1978, Indian Navigation, and then this one, I just ran across it when I was looking something up in, on the, in the shelf. Uh, Joy, First Impressions, this is, uh, somebody autographed it there, but I can't read the signature, on the uh, lyrics label, Discog says it's a jazz, soul, funk recording, to me it sounds kind of uh, fusion jazz fusion based but female vocals for the most part uh, very piano driven joy nineteen seventy eight uh, picked up this Vangelis uh, Boborg, 1978, uh, one long track split up on the two sides, part one and part two, on uh, RCA label, Vangelis, um, Paul Winter, the Winter Consort. A and M records. So, from the uh, instrumentation there, you can see it's pretty acoustic. Winter consort. Um, Tea Garden and Van Winkle, but anyhow, Tea Garden and Van Winkle. So this is a uh, white label promo. Sometime around 1970, 1969, uh, very electric keyboard uh, driven, and then that made me pull out this one, the other Tea Garden and Van Winkle, uh, this is on the Westbound label. A uni pack. And I forget if this is either one year older or one year newer. The other one, Tea Garden and Van Winkle, uh, God Love 
and rock and roll might be one that's familiar to people from this one. And then two uh, jazz albums, uh, Jessica Williams, the uh, Portal of Antrim. This is on uh, Adelphia. This is a trio, piano, bass, drums. She does a couple of just solo piano tracks, but the rest of it's a, a trio outing. 1976, Adelphi, and then this uh, double LP, Portraits, Jessica Williams. This is uh, solo piano improvisations. So two albums, eight tracks, also on Adelphia. This is 1978. So that was uh, my, you know, some recent pickups and some things that pulled off the shelf. Some responses to uh, Psych in the Valley's recent contest. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you later.